What's up, guys? It's your boy, Pack 420 here, coming at you with a new one. And, uh, um, it, I was actually going to do a different video for today, but, um, this came across my Twitter feed, and, uh, it drove me fucking nuts. So, uh, I had to go and, uh, find the source here and, uh, troll it. <laughs> uh, so, this is Stephen A. Smith reacting to Draymond Green. So, Megan Rapinoe's been at her bullshit. I did a video a couple days ago about how she's whining about women's pay, and I actually went through, I went pretty thoroughly on why they can't be paid what they want to be paid. And I know for a fact she's been told over and over and over again, but she just, she just can't keep but beating that mummified horse. But, uh, so Draymond Green comes out and <laughs> he, he, uh, he speaks a little bit of facts. Now, I'm not a fan of Draymond Green. That dude's an idiot too. He's one of those woke morons. So what what makes this especially uh, hilarious to me is that it's it's basically the left eating themselves, and it, it's great. So we got Stephen A. Uh, beating on Draymond, who was beating on Megan Rapino. This is great. I I love it. So uh, these people always eat their own. So I'm gonna react to this, and I'm actually gonna throw up some facts and evidence. Okay, because Stephen A. I used to respect the guy. I used to enjoy the guy, but this guy is is full of shit now. Okay, and he's going to throw out some bullshit that I'm going to counteract. So uh, let's get into this one, okay? So this is called a, Yo Wrong, Bro. No, Stephen A., you know what? Yo Wrong, Bro. Let's let's do this. I'm really tired of seeing them complain about the lack of pay because, because they're doing themselves a disservice by just complaining. I'm a big time Draymond Green fan. Everybody knows I know him well, but I can't agree with him here. Now, to be fair, they took out some clip out of context. Draymond Green basically saying that they need to get onto the advertisers, get onto the networks. They need to clamor for exposure. Okay, they need to beg for the exposure. Uh, only way they're going to get the exposure is if the game gets better. But th that's not the point. Okay, he's saying you preaching to the wrong people okay you just sitting there complaining about it all day and nothing's gonna happen so that's what Draymond green, green was getting to if draymond green wants to use the word disservice then let's talk about how dare i say uninformed was his uninformed words <laughs> it's interesting that Stephen a says uninformed are a disservice to women's sports particularly in that clip because nearly everything that's come out of his mouth lately on this particular topic is wrong, bro. Megan Rapino has taken Green to task for his comments, and rightfully so. It's not the first time she's had to set the record straight on a lack of equity between men's and women's sports, or had to remind people of the success of women's sports. It's not the first time she's had to deliver actual facts. Facts like these. While NBA Finals ratings dropped to an historic low last year, WNBA Finals ratings on ESPN were up 15%. I like the fact that he acknowledges how the NBA has been struggling because the NBA has been struggling. Okay, the finals last year were the lowest ever. Let's check the finals for the. Uh, let, let's 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 do this. Okay, so the 2020 NBA finals averaged 7.5 million viewers. Okay, 7.5 million for the entire finals. The 2020 WNBA finals. Average 440,000 viewers. <laughs> okay, so the ratings were up. He claims ratings were up 65%. This this right here, uh, up 15% over the 2019 through game five and up 14. It doesn't matter. Let's let's go with this number here. It doesn't matter. I, I, I'll, I'll throw you this bone. Okay, so he said up 65%. So if 440,000 thousand women or if four hundred forty thousand viewers uh watched and that's up sixty five percent so you had what a hundred and some odd I don't, I'm bad at math I really am I'm not gonna bother doing it but that's pathetic this is still pathetic you couldn't even get half a million viewers but continue Stephen A in 2019 WNBA ratings were up sixty four percent okay so in 2019, WNBA ratings were up 64%. Uh, let's see here. The 2019 regular season WNBA viewership across ESPN and ABC networks averaged a combined 246,000 viewers. So 
averaged 246,000 viewers. Interesting. Okay, let's see here. The comparable number of games during the 2019-2020 season. 2 million average viewers versus the 1.9 billion average viewers. According to the news. Okay, so... All right, so this says the, avid, the NBA games have averaged 1.45 million viewers across ESPN and TNT. Uh, now it does, it does claim it does go on to claim they they were down because the the ratings again the ratings are down across all sports, especially NBA. It's gone woke, but the NBA still makes still the NBA still gets more viewers across the board than the WNBA does. But again, we'll continue on, Stephen A. Well, how about this? When Sabrina Unesco was drafted number one overall last year by the New York Liberty. Her jersey sold out in less than an hour. Okay, so this, I did a little research into this. This was a limited edition uh, jersey. And this chick, uh, has she had a uh, an Oregon Ducks uh, jersey that was all lime green and stuff. And, and ba basically, basically, they uh, made just enough to sell out, but... They made enough for it was like a pre-order thing, okay? Uh, they said it sold out in minutes, but it was all pre-ordered. It's like you know when 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 something's about to be launched and you allow pre-orders, but then you only make the pre-orders. That's basically what happened, okay? <laughs> People pre-ordered the jersey, and then that's all they made. <laughs> and then when the when the pre-orders were released, they were like, they're gone, they're gone, oh, they're all gone. I think they actually made they made the pre-orders in like a few more, right? I think they made the pre-orders in maybe like maybe five a uh, five hundred more or a thousand more. I don't I don't remember what the article I don't remember what it said, but it, it was it was hilarious. Uh, but this this chick, yes, she was she was popular uh, per se, but she she was from Oregon and and it, she they wanted the the lime green you know Oregon shirt and then she got this deal going on and it was her it was a it was a special deal that they had going on and and it was. It was clearly made to be a collector's item. It, it was one of those... They basically pulled a Mario 3DS, you know. They made a specific amount, and then once, you know, they weren't going to make any more. So, what's funny is, now you can go and you can find her normal jersey all day, every day. Like, her normal colored jersey. Not the goofy green, lime green one, or the special uh, Liberty one that she had that's also uh, goofy colors. But, whatever. Continue on, Stephen A. And it's not just basketball. Look at the trophy cabinet for the women's national soccer team versus the men's. Or the success Serena Williams has had compared to any American male tennis player. Well, I'll give you Serena Williams, but the thing is that that, that chick's actually good. And, and here's the thing. Only only reason give, people give her attention is because, one, she's legitimately good. Two, uh, guys find her sexy. They do. She's got big thighs, big legs. You know, some guys think that's, you know, some guys think that's sexy. Um, so she's not unattractive, unlike her sister. No, no, her sister's unattractive. But interestingly enough, in tennis, they get paid the same amount anyway. They didn't used to, but that was her sister. But, you know, that was her sister that fought for that. But it doesn't really matter uh, because Serena Williams has all kinds of uh, deals outside of the sport. Okay, she makes millions of dollars off of Nike and all the endorsement deals with her rackets and shoes and all kinds of shit going on. So, so Serena Williams is actually a pretty bad example of this. Okay, you, you don't want to, you don't really want to compare singular sports to team sports because Serena is easily more marketable because you know who she is, you see her, she's always winning. Not so much lately; she's getting kind of old, but she was always winning. Uh, and she was attractive and easy to sell to, okay? Especially to the urban audience, you know? So, oh, look at this chick. She's a female teen tennis player. She's got dark skin. She's she's beautiful. Like, easy to sell to the urban audience. Easy. So, Serena Williams, I'll give you that, Stephen A. But, but still, it is so much easier to be... It is so much easier to market a single athlete than it is to market a whole team. Women are doing their thing. And they're certainly doing more than their share. Research shows more than 75% of the audience at WNBA games are women. Yeah, you know what I also found about that, interestingly? This is a little older, but I still think it's relevant. It says, um, CS, in 2013, ESPN says, men accounted for the majority of its WNBA audience, 66%. At any college women basketball game, the crowd has male fans as crazed as those in the men's games. 
Men also dominate the TV audience. For the most recent Women's World Cup, 61% of the 13.5 million viewers in the U.S.-Japan final in 2011 were men. So, okay, women are going to the games, but I can prove to you right here the little older numbers, and I can tell you it's probably increased. Probably not, actually. It's probably decreased because no one's watching sports right now, but... Regardless, your argument is a moot point because it looks like the majority of men still watch women's sports. But again, Stephen A., continue on. This show and out. Fellas, where are we? It's the men who have to step up. Men like Draymond Green. Men like myself. Men all over the place. Instead of criticizing women's sports, what if all of us had taken the opportunity to embrace them? Okay, Stephen A. L listen, <laughs> okay, he used to be on Mad Dog Sports Radio. I subscribe to Sirius XM. I listen to sports, not as much as I used to, but I, I used to listen to it religiously, okay? Fantasy football, all that. I was always into sports. Mad Dog, uh, Fantasy Sports, uh, the Fight Night Channel. I was all into sports, all right? And I used to religiously listen to Stephen A. Every day from noon to 2, okay, Central Time, every day, okay? I remember during the summer... And you know, nothing really goes on in the summer except for baseball. And the only guy that talks about baseball on Sirius XM is Doggy. Okay? Regardless, uh, I remember during the summer, some caller called in. And, and Stephen A. only had two hours. So the last, like, m two minutes of his show was always rapid-fire calls. Okay? The last two minutes, caller called in. And he goes, What's up, Stephen A.? How's it going, my brother? Yeah. All right, man. I got a quick. I'm going to keep it quick for you, my man. Uh, How come no one is uh, talking about the L.A. Sparks, man? Like, man, dude, like... They're balling, dude. How come no one's talking about them? And Stephen A. replies, Because nobody cares, Sarah, neither do I. Don't ever waste my time like that again. Goodbye. Next caller. That's exactly what happened. I tried to find that clip, but because he's no longer on Sirius XM, all the stuff that Stephen A. had on there is, is gone, and none of that stuff is on in ESPN. So it's if anyone can find that, it's lost the ether. But I remember that, car, I remember that call because I laughed out loud. I laughed, 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 and I was like, yeah, get this motherfucker off the radio. I don't want to hear about no motherfucking WNBA. Stephen A., I would like you to start dedicating your uh, an entire segment. Segments. I would like you to start dedicating segments to your show, to women's sports. Okay? I want to see you. Put your money where your mouth is, fool. I want to see you. I want to see you talk about women's basketball. I want to see you talk about women's soccer. I want to see you talk about softball. I want to see you talk about all the stuff that you said we need to talk about and we need to watch and we, do, we need to embrace. I want to see you embrace it, Stephen A. I want to see First Take do an entire episode dedicated to nothing but women's sports. And I want to see that. And I want to see your ratings. And I want to see how long you continue to do that because let's be real fool we know damn well that they don't make the same amount of money because they don't make the fucking revenue you know damn well i just proved the numbers dude no one watches them and even male watch more of it what what else what else do you want me to do fool because the shit you just spouted out was just nonsense your fucking colleagues told you without actually fact checking yourself yes that means you too draymond what if we took the opportunity to be an advocate? Now you're using a dead man and his daughter. Are you kidding me? I hate ESPN. This is disgusting. Oh my God. Dude. I, <laughs> this is fucking... This is, oh my God. I used to respect this man. I used to respect this man. Oh my God. He's using a dead man and his daughter to prove his point. <laughs> you sick. You sick. To fill the role that Kobe Bryant had taken on. Let's be honest. When Kobe and Gianna were courtside at women's games. Don't you find it odd that they had to get Kobe and his daughter? Two people that are dead now to get any attention at your fucking games. Oh, look, Kobe and his Bryant like going. Because he go up there for free. Hey, baby, you want to go see some basketball? Yeah, daddy, yeah, let's go see some basketball. Those game highlights were featured prominently and more often in our studio shows. Duh. Yeah. That means ESPN can do better, too. But I'm admitting that. I'm not casting blame. I'm simply saying that we, as men, have to do better and become more informed. By the way. More informed. Motherfucker, I literally just... 
went through actual true numbers that took me maybe 15, 20 minutes to do. Maybe. Maybe. Motherfucker, do your job. Do your... Fu- oh, I hate the media, dude. They don't do their fucking jobs. It's fucking annoying. Okay? Ah, uh, I'm done with this shit. All right. Ah, uh, dude, these people are trash. Sports is trash now. Okay? I, 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 I don't know. There's, there's, there's very few outlets you can actually get legitimate sports from. Okay? ESPN is not it. Okay? Everyone's a fucking pundit. And they're wrong. Or they're telling you half truths. So okay, so maybe ratings were up sixty five percent, you know, uh, for the finals in the in twenty nineteen for the WNBA. Okay, but you still sub five hundred. You still sub five hundred for the entire year. Five hundred thousand. Are you kidding me? What do you? Whatever. I'm just glad these people are attacking each other. It's hilarious. Okay. Uh, Megan Rapinoe, she's full of shit. Draymond Green, he's a fucking idiot. Okay. And Stephen A, you're a fuckhead too. I'm sick of these people. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you like what you see, like what you hear, go and like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.